What's going on Division 2 Agents? This is Gamer for Life back with another vendor reset. And as always, I will have timestamps in a pinned comment of every single named item, regardless how they're rolled. Also, in that pinned comment, I will also have any max rolls that you could possibly use for your library. And if there's anything decent, obviously, I will list that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have this week. The White House vendor, we have the Test Subject, which is a really nice gun. 13.2 uh, assault rifle damage, 11% health damage, 9% headshot damage with perfectly in sync. Hitting an enemy grants plus 20% skill damage for 5 seconds. Using a skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants plus 20% weapon damage for 5 seconds. Damage increases are doubled while both buffs are active at the same time. So you can get 40% weapon damage and skill damage with this gun. And it's a pretty hard hitting gun as well. So I would definitely recommend getting this throw damage to target out of cover and then optimize the rest and that would be a perfect piece. Then we will go down the list, see if there's anything decent that we could possibly use. As always, not really. All right, on to the clan vendor. At the clan vendor, we have an artist tool, 11.4 rifle damage, 13% critical hit damage, 12% magazine size. With perfect rifleman landing headshots, adds a stack of, of bonus plus 11% weapon damage for five seconds. Max stack is six additional headshots for refresh the duration. We have a max armor roll for some foundry bulwark knee pads. That's not bad. Max damage to armor roll for a sniper marksman rifle. Max headshot damage for an 1886. Max magazine size for a shotgun. So a lot of max rolls in this one. The clan vendor. That's not too bad of a piece. If you put crit chance for the skill damage, but you'd have to optimize the rest for it to be good. All right. At the theater, we have Surge, 10.8 rifle damage, 12% critical hit damage, 9% headshot damage with perfect spike, headshots grant, plus 25% skill damage for 15 seconds. Classic M1A with damage to armor, unlucky shot. And that is it. At the campus, we have the scalpel with 10.6 marksman rifle damage, 9.91% headshot damage, 8.5 reload speed, future perfection, weapon kills grant plus one skill tier for 19 seconds, stacks up to three times, weapon kills at skill tier six grant overcharge for 15 seconds, overcharge cooldown is 90 seconds. That will do it for the campus. At DZ West, we have Emperor's Guard with crit damage. I've actually been looking for some of these with crit damage. Um, so definitely, I would say this is a must buy if you're looking for some Emperor's, Emperor's Guards without having to go into the DZ. Well, you will have to go into the DZ if you don't have any DZ resources. I'm going to buy couple of those uh, anyway it has a plus one percent armor region 10.5 critical hit damage definitely get some of these I'm, that's all I'm gonna say uh, not some bad knee pet with skill damage the Empress International is a really good skill damage or uh, a skill Brand set, roll off the health, and that'll be some nice knee pads. Just have to optimize the skill damage. All right. DZ South, we have the Manic 10.1 assault rifle damage, 15% health damage, 9% headshot damage with perfect overflowing. Every two reloads from empty increases your base magazine capacity by 100%.
DZ East, we have the Darkness, 14.5 marksman rifle damage, 85 headshot damage, 7% critical hit damage with perfect eyeless deal plus 25% weapon damage to blinded enemies after 3 kills applies blind to the next enemy you hit. will do it for Washington. I will see you in New York. In New York at Marco. See if he has anything decent. Uh, Max Marksman Rifle Row. Let's see if he can give us something else that was pretty decent. Like last week, he gave us a really nice Suska mask. Uh, almost another decent Suska mask, but nothing decent today. Okay. Let's go back to Washington and find where the snitch is for me. So he was not at my old reliable spot. So I'm gonna come across the street into this building, the building that has the crate up there. And he is in here. So it's the building that's still by the White House. It's just in this building instead of this alleyway. So, go ahead and see where Cassie is. And she is up top here. So, right next to DZ East. So, probably be the fastest to travel here to get to her. So, yeah, this is where Cassie is tomorrow. So, we'll see what she has for us tomorrow. As always, my friends on YouTube, take it easy.